What's up guys, it's me Jan here back again with another video and with another series and uh, in this series I will be looking at stages that can be quite confusing uh, maybe even resemble a maze of sorts and uh, yeah well the kind of stages that you can get lost into if you don't know where you're going and uh, or you can take the wrong route which might also lead to your disqualification or something else in a rally so um, yeah I'll be going through different stages that can be quite tricky in Richard Burns rally and uh, in this week's episode we will be going through two stages as both of those stages are in my 1600 subs rally special which is linked to the description so if you haven't already go there and bookmark it and go to tech plugin and drive the rally because that will be awesome and that i will have more people to compare to when i'm driving the rally myself during the weekend and streaming it of course and uh yeah these two stages in question today are Hagenau 2012 and sardian slash sardian night as you know it's the same stage just a different time of day and uh, let's begin the video with uh, Hagenau and I will guide you through it safely but fastly. Here we are at the start of Hagenau stage and I uh, still haven't learned ventriloquism but uh, I'm focusing on the driving myself as well so that I can ensure that I don't get lost here on these stages as well because that would be hell embarrassing. And, uh, yeah, this is a uh, probably a, a familiar stage for those of you who have been here on the la uh, channel for a long time as I've used this for at least one or two comparison videos and uh, yeah I just really really like this stage despite it being a uh, sort of a city super special stage which usually are quite horrible but for some reason I just like this stage quite a lot and uh, yeah the reason why I also picked this is because I used to get lost in here as well uh, especially since the first contact for me for this stage was in a set of calls so there was no notes I couldn't hear from myself where I should go so uh, it was really really tricky I kept driving it wrong until I tried it for once in Richard Burns rally and then I really realized what the thing is when I listen to the notes carefully but uh, yeah, if you don't listen to the notes carefully then you can get really fucked by the stage as we are heading to the place of surprise as here it would be logical to continue straight as you are in sort of tunnel vision but we have to go left there and then around the hairpin and now we can see that we are back at the start of the stage and uh, we start blasting through again and uh, yeah it's just something that if you don't know if you don't know, know to look at it or just don't know about the existence of the route or that the corner you just will go full on tunnel vision and uh, go forward to the chicanes because yeah I know I did it a couple of my friends did it and uh, yeah just really really usual here on the stage and uh, yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful stage in my opinion well not visually but I like it I like to drive it because uh, there's a lot of sliding you get to slide the car with uh, with a permit and with a clean conscience so uh, it's it's lovely in my opinion and uh, you might also recognize this part from Maximum Attack Monday's intro although in there I do the hairpin quite a bit better in the Fiesta RS WRC with the Martin Prokop livery in it. And, uh, yeah. Can we now go straight? Absolutely not. Still another lap ahead. Again, a left turn and uh, long straight and a hairpin. And we are back at the start again of the stage. And now this is the final lap. There's three laps on this uh, stage almost feel like say, saying <laughs> on this circuit but uh, yeah three three laps or three loops which way you want to say it and uh, now we can already start enjoying 
Cruz as we know that we're getting out of it soon, TM. And we can start sliding the car around a bit more, start entertaining the fans who are quite pixelated here. I guess they must be Japanese genitals then, but uh, yeah, who knows. But I, I really like it how at this stage you really really have to pay attention and uh, you have to go close to the barriers but not hit them. I mean, duh, obviously don't hit the barriers, but uh, there's so much time to be gained if you dare to go close to the barriers. And uh, I don't know, I just like it as it rewards the more consistent and the more daring driver, but then again also the one who has hot luck this stage a lot more. And uh, now we finally get to go straight here, and we have one chicane, and then we have another chicane, and then we are through Hagano 2012. That's how you do it. And uh, yeah, that's Hagano for you. And uh, those of you have, who have been on the channel for a longer period might recognize it from earlier videos. I've been doing quite a few comparisons there. And uh, yeah, it will be in my 1600 Supes Rally Special, as I said before. And uh, now let's head on to Sardian. And for this video, I chose the ninth version because I think it's more visually appealing so uh, yeah, let's head on to Sardin and I'll be your tour guide through there as well. And here we are at the start of the Sardian stage. Again with the beautiful Salik ST205. And uh, off the line we go. This, uh, this reminds me of uh, early Gran Turismo city circuits like the Seattle circuit and the Clubman Route 5 or whatever. I don't know the name or remember the name really but you know those city tracks that would never pass the FIA inspections and uh, yeah another one of those loop stages again and uh, I think this is maybe a bit more tricky actually as uh, you have to take a completely different route on the final lap and you can see it here there lap two and one turn right and lap three turn left to the finish and uh, yeah if you case in, in case you missed that or if you're not paying attention to the notes you might accidentally drift off to the left and then uh, accidentally finish the stage way too early and that might lead to some time penalties or dnfs and i don't think that's what you guys want and uh, some fun facts from, from this stage, this is the first competitive Richard Burns rally stage I've ever driven like in all seriousness as uh, this was the first stage of uh, VRC Barum rally uh, last autumn and that was the first competitive rally for me as well. And these corners are amazing as we start the second lap as you can go flat out through them if you have the balls or if you have the car good enough for them. Uh, preferably both of them but you can't ask for anything in life and everything and uh, yeah again through the more narrower sections uh, between the concrete blocks and uh, some magic happening there in the right hand side of the screen apparently there's some sideshow where some magician is di making stuff disappear and as this is lap 2 we still go to the right and uh, head to the hairpin again, which is really, really nice to slide through with this car if you can nail it. And uh, as I was trying a bit too much for the video, I ended up in the barriers quite a few times. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I think that's all you need to know about that. But uh, yeah, we are inching closer to the second lap as we slide the Toyota a bit more. This left hander and the right hander and then we head on to the final and third lap on the stage and uh, yeah, if you're really really confident in your car, in other words if you have hot lap this enough, you can do this with, uh, without lifting those first corners 
but also depending on how slow your car is. I mean, I think it's gonna be way easier to drive flat out with an R1 car than a 2017 spec WRC car. And uh, yeah, these in these sections you really can't get lost as there's only one way you can go. But uh, when we come to the divisive point, we need to be paying attention as we now go to the left and uh, then we go to the left again as the arrows point out and over the finish line after we've embarrassed ourselves with a bad handbrake slide and uh, let's cruise to time control and that is sardine stage and that's how you do it and that was sardine for you guys as well and uh, I hope that this video was instructional and informative for you guys and uh, if not I hope that at, at least you'll enjoy my driving and or facial features and uh, yeah that's all for now I hope to see you guys again later this week with the form of uh, AVI Dead 4 Club and then we have the 1600 Soups Rally Special which, which I'll be streaming and then we have ACRL f3 season finale in imola as well so that's what's ahead of us this week and i hope to see you guys there thank you so so much for watching have an awesome day bye